as well mentioned, it's the special period in the world, quarantine and all that. Uh, do you feel like because of all the chaos that is going around, it's a commitment such as the two minute rule or, or anything similar that you did like that, did that help you specifically to kind of ease into the whole situation? I think that this type of thing is, is so much needed right now, especially in this time we're in right now where everything's so um, negative and scary and and just having a group of positive people and positive experiences and positive women and men and whoever else wants to join. Um, super important right now, especially right now. These times are just kind of weird and, and nobody knows really what's gonna happen or what's going on or you know how long this is gonna last. And having this is unbelievably important to me. There was a couple of times where I got emotional. I'm probably gonna get emotional right now. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> I needed this, so. And I thank you guys for doing it with me. Same, Kate. I now I get emotional because you get emotional. And <laughs> Sorry. It's, easy, it's it's really easy to just disconnect when we are socially isolated and we have to quarantine and we can't go on walks with our neighbors or get together with our friends. And the hardest part for me is not being able to um, hug my mom and it hurts. And so to have a group of people that we can reach out to and share our positive experiences with is so, so, so important to surround you, like get rid of the negativity, surround yourself with positive people, positive news, like continue to improve yourself. And this, this has helped me and all of you guys so much to get through such a hard time because for so many people like depression is sinking in and it's deep and it is so hard to reach out sometimes so uh i think that we should invite more people like show them hey this is what this has done for me don't seclude yourself in your in your house like we have this beautiful program the zoom i didn't even know it existed until today where we can <laughs> talk from opposite ends of the world and it's it's amazing. There's so much good in this world. People are good. You can see it all around you if you look for it. Yeah, this definitely uh, has kept me slightly sane for sure. There's been, I, I always thought that I, I'm not social. I don't need all that stuff. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, when I can't go on a, you know, go to Derby and I can't see all these people and, um, you know, thinking about the patients I'm taking care of and why it's important for me to not given to like my own selfishness of wanting to go see my friends and uh, has definitely been um, challenging. And so it, it has been nice to be able to do this and connecting with people I wouldn't have connected with um, if it wasn't for this challenge. And I've had several people, like even family members message me and like, what are you doing again? And I shared Roka's video um, to several people. Again, like, I'm not sure if they, decided to do it on their own without um, sharing or um, if they were just sort of curious but not curious enough to take the bite um, but I did I had lots of people like what are you doing what do you why are you reading what is this you know so um, it helped me connect to people um, even though I was I don't know it's just something to look forward to um, something that you know social in a different way I guess I know when we were when I'm running and I'm getting closer to my house to end it it it's overwhelming to me it's just like yay I get to tell the girls I finished <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty awesome feeling what's most difficult um, for me was when I get into I mean, you could call it a pity party. You can call it a woe is me moment, but I had one. And during this this uh, coronavirus outbreak, like Kate mentioned, it's I, I got into like this state of anxiety and depression really where I can't go to the gym. I, I can't go teach my fitness classes. I have to go online now, which doesn't give me that gratification as a fitness coach to be there with them, coaching them, the hands-on experience that, that I need in order to be a good coach. I didn't have that, so that was gone. I didn't have my jujitsu classes in Kalispell um, with all of my friends. And I'm an introvert. 
a really big introvert by nature and I don't mind being alone, but when I'm socially isolated, it's, it's, it's sad for me. And I don't feel, if I don't feel connected to my people, then I just feel sad. And so um, I had a couple of days there where I basically had to pick myself up and just keep going. And that, Kate reached out to me too. So if I wasn't a part of this group, like Kate checked in on me, she sent me a message like, hey, um, what's going on? You know, like, how's it going? Just checking in. And I was like, well, here's the thing, you know? And I, I told her, I'm having a hard time. And, but you know what, I'm gonna go run. And so after that, I was back on track, but I don't think that I would have continued if it weren't for the accountability. So, I mean, that's difficult to pick yourself up when you're down. And then advice, as far as advice for the, the next person is have a group, have a tribe. My tribe is strong, it's worldwide, um, SBG. Like once I joined SBG, I, I kind of left the group of people who weren't helping me get better and motivating me and inspiring me to be a better person every day. So um, having my tribe worldwide of SBG members and getting close to all you ladies, Heather, Kate, uh, April, Rokas, everybody that was in our group, um, you guys just kind of, we were there, I was accountable. So have a, have a circle that you're accountable to and you can, you can get it done. For me, the bigger part was seeing everyone else, like, it wasn't as much about getting my stuff done. I was looking forward to also seeing everyone else's journey and knowing that we all struggle at different times, you know, like we're all human. We're going to have good days, <laughs> bad days, but um, if I wasn't doing this with other people, it would have been really easy just to like not do it. So 